judge, Stephen Capobianco, did not get a fair trial and now deserves a new one. That's what his defense attorney is now claiming in court, asking a judge to overturn the guilty verdict based on three separate issues. And that includes jury misconduct as well as misconduct by the prosecutor and a court error regarding phone records not being allowed in court. Capo Bianco was on trial for six months for the murder of his pregnant ex-girlfriend. It took the jury weeks to decide that he's guilty, but his defense attorney now wants a new trial. So what, all, what does all the latest maneuvering mean, and where does the case now go from here? Bridget Namata tonight, getting you answers. Dash, Marissa, calls to Capo Bianco's defense attorney, John Apol, weren't returned. So I spoke with a law professor at UH. I'm told the defense is hammering on what it, con it considers unfair points from the first trial that may have cost Capo Bianco his freedom. A new trial for Stephen Capo Bianco. An unsettling possibility for the mother of Carly Scott. Honestly, that's a pretty terrifying prospect. Um, but uh, this is part of the justice process. We dug into court records and learned what Capo Bianco's defense team is claiming. We showed the papers to law professor Ken Lawson. Standard procedure, you know, he may have an argument on that closing argument, though. He's talking about defense attorney John Apo's issue with what prosecutor Robert Rivera said in closing arguments, that Carly Scott's jawbone was speaking to the jury. The judge asked the jury to ignore it, but Lawson says the damage was already done. If you get the jury um, so riled up in emotion, and the only person they can punish is the one sitting at the defense table, right? They may punish out of that emotion as opposed to looking at the facts. Capo Bianco's defense is also arguing jury misconduct, saying there was a seven-day break in the trial that exposed jurors to news coverage on the case. The judge ordered jurors not to speak to anyone about the trial or look up more information. And so I could see how some jurors would say, you know what, you have no evidence that I, that I did anything other than abide by the judge's instructions. But as a defense attorney, you're trying to do whatever you can and make sure your client gets another trial, at least get another fair trial. The defense team's third point deals with the phone records of Carly Scott's sister, Phaedra Wise, that the court did not allow as evidence. What he's saying is, look, Judge, you know I had some pretty good evidence that could have probably shed a light, some light on this case, and you didn't let it in. And I want you to kind of reconsider that decision and grant me a new trial. For this defense attorney, for all these claims that he's putting forth, does he have a good enough case for the judge to say, okay, we'll do a new trial? And I think it's going to be, I think it's, these are hard motions at this point. I would say th there are not a lot of these motions that are granted right after trial. Motions for new trials are very rarely granted, but they're often made because as an attorney, you have to make them. Judge Joseph Cardoza did not make a decision today. Instead, a hearing on the motion for a new trial was continued to Monday, March 6th. We'll continue to follow the case. Bridget Namata, KHO 2 News.